a little bit bad for Dark Elf here. He's, he's lost one of his bases. He's losing a lot of SCVs to those Cracklings, but at the same time, he's taking out bases as well uh, of Luxuries. It may be a battle to see who can kill off the other one first. Luxuries going to have to defend really well out here. Oh, a ton of Scourges going in. Oh, whoa. Okay, it looked like for a second too many Scourges was going to go off on that one Science Vessel. He does manage to save it. Irradiate going off on that Defiler. He does have a backup Defiler, though, so he's going to be able to hold this army off a little bit longer. In the meantime, though, there's not many Mech Marines with that army at the moment, so... Uh, it's been whittled down pretty far, and that, that those tanks are going to be vulnerable if they don't have a lot of medic marines to go with them. Um, both players trying to get their bases back up that they've just kind of lost. Uh, Dark Elf, of course, didn't lose the command center of his fourth base, um, so he's going to be able to take that back already, and he's, you can see on the minimap SCVs arriving there at this moment already. So things looking pretty good, actually, for Dark Elf, and uh, I want to remind everyone, by the way, this is, like I said, the loser's match, so the loser of this game is out, is completely out. They will not have another chance. Um, they will have lost both of their games uh, in this series. And uh, that's looking to be luxury at this point in time. He's just run out of minerals in his main. So he has two bases going right now. Two bases. Um, possibly three at the moment. And in the meantime, Dark Elf has three very strong bases, and he's trying to get a fourth up in the top right-hand corner. So, uh, you, I mean, when you're a Zerg, the, usually what you have going for you is the, your macro, the fact that you have bases all over the damn place. Uh, and uh, uh, the best Zergs uh, um, have to move their forces around using Nidus Canals and their mobility in general uh, to dominate the map and, and out-macro your opponent. Uh, but Luxury has just been shut down uh, pretty well. He, I mean, he, he tried to do a counterattack instead of bringing his forces back to... Um, uh, to defend his bases, and the counterattacks did decently well. Um, uh, took out some SCVs and what have you, but did not uh, cripple uh, uh, Dark Elf in any way. And oh wow, storms down, but but the Marines just running straight underneath it. Tank fire backing them up as well. Uh, nice little plague, but it's not going to do a lot of good in the long run. This this base is again going to get saved unless he just keeps standing his plague Marines within that lurker fire, which is a little silly. Um, <laughs> He needs to irradiate those or get some tanks down or what have you. But, um, yeah. Uh, oh, and there's Ultralisks. There are some Ultralisks. I think this is Luxury's kind of last-ditch thing here. Um, he does, oh, I'm sorry. I missed the, the base in the middle for Luxury at 6 o'clock. I didn't see that before. It looks Oh, it looks like he's just gotten it up. That's why. Um, but uh, the Ultralisks could theoretically turn things around because that's going to make it a lot more... Medic Marines are going to have a lot tougher time taking down those Ultralisks. Oh my goodness, Dark Elf, what are you doing? Dark Elf leaving his science vessels just sitting around in the middle of, of the map, loses three of them. Um, uh, Jesus, uh, that was that was really harsh. I mean, he had built up a lot of science vessels. He still has a lot of science vessels, I have to say. Uh, so, you know, it's not completely tragic for him since he did have a bit of a lead anyway. Um, but uh, he cannot... Oh, nice plague, nice plague. Wow, this is luxury. Is I mean, luxury is obviously he's the better player, I think, and so and that that is um, something I was actually talking about with my my dad about the Olympics yesterday, about how sometimes the better players just just they just that's what makes a champion is what he said is that they just figure out a way to win, and uh, luxury may still have a chance of coming back here. Dark Elf trying to go in for the kill. His army is trapped. Uh, <laughs> Ultra is coming in from one side. Lings and Ultra's from the other. His army may get slaughtered here. But no, he has. I think he just has too many Medic Marines. Defense bridge is going on on the tanks, which is neutralizing the attacks of one of the Ultras. But there's just too many Ultras here. They're able to just two hit those Marines. And uh, the Marines are at 2-2 two, two upgrades, it looks like, by the way. And But the, the Ultras are at 5-2, I believe. Uh, it's hard to see on my screen. Um, but uh, Jesus, man, that was... That was a lot of damage done to Dark Elf's army, and uh, he is going to have uh, an easier time of building that army back up, though, is the thing. A bunch of medics coming in there. You need marines with medics, though. Dark Elf going for a very me medic-heavy army, maybe because he's saving his medics. He's producing more marines, uh, and saving the medics are... Um, uh, maybe he is continuing to produce medics, I guess, just almost on autopilot or something like that. He has lost his base in the top right, though, and Luxury has built a couple more bases back up. So Luxury could come back in this unless unless Dark Elf can put the nail in the coffin like right now and and, and take those bases out. Well, before Luxury builds up any forces, uh, then uh, Luxury could come back in this very easily. And oh, Dark Elf's army caught out in the field, and just I think they're just going to get slaughtered. 
uh, adrenaline upgraded Zergling is just so, so powerful, so powerful. They attack so quickly, get so many hits in, even if there's a, a large armor deficit, they can get so many hits in, it's ridiculous. Um, and it looks like they are at least plus two upgraded on their, on their weapons there. Um, so, uh, man, just, <laughs> that's, that's just, that is just ridiculous. Um, but, uh... Dark Elf somehow manages to uh, save his army there. He's oh, he needs to watch out with those science forces again. If he loses that squad of science forces, then he's he's pretty much screwed because he won't be able to do anything against the defilers. Although it looks like um, Luxury has decided. Never mind. I was gonna say it looks like he's decided to um, not go with defilers as much. But there's some plague on some units. Usually you uh, see defilers around when there's plague going on. And another one. Oh, another plague coming up. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh, he, no, he doesn't. He misses the plague. He tries to run back instead. And the, the Defiler dies. Wow, that was close. I thought he was going to get a huge play off on the entire group of units. I don't know why he didn't uh, go with that plague. I think he should have gone with that. Um, but um, oh, where's the queen when you need it? Um, <laughs> but anyways, he did get plague off on some of those units, though. And uh, he tried to save that Defiler. I guess the Defiler was more important for swarms for the long term than it was for that, that sacrificing itself for that one awesome plague. But it just couldn't quite get back to safety in time. Um, there are a lot of Ultras closing in here. Now, this is the deciding moment of the game, I believe. Uh, Dark Elf going in here, trying to take out these bases. He needs to take out these bases. He needs to take out a couple of Luxury's bases if he's going to survive here. And, 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 D and Luxury needs to take out this army if he's going to survive. And Luxury looks like he's going to come out victorious. Um, Dark Elf takes out one hatchery, but I don't think that's going to be quite as big of a deal as uh, Dark Elf losing his entire army because now he's he's down to uh, two possibly possibly how, part of his natural is still mining. He's but he's not mining as much as he could be. He's lost that base at the top right, so he lost some minerals there, um, and so he's not able to macro up quite as well as he as he has been for most of this game. Still pushing. I mean, he's macroing pretty good. You got to hand it to him. Pushing out with a large army in the middle here. Um, pretty large army. Luxury needs to get some dang scourges up. He needs to get scourges up. Oh, Terran Ball. Nice, nice clump. Surrounded by defense matrix tanks. That is going to be tough to crack. And Luxury cannot crack it. Does not accomplish very much against that army at all. Loses four, it looks like four Ultralisks and a bunch of Zerglings as well. Luxury uh, losing his army now this time. And, uh, um... <laughs> He's going to have to force force uh, uh, Dark Elf back with a little bit of swarm there. But, uh, I, man, this is really, really tough to call here. At, at this point, it's just going to come down to just who can play better. I mean, oh, jeez. For a second, I was going to say those forces were dead, but that, those last uh, hits from the, the medic-walled um, tanks taking out those... Um, uh, those, those ultralists at the last moment before that, that little army died if there had been lings or something. Anyway, um, but yeah, Dark Elf moving in on another base here, and, and Luxury just desperately defending with swarms. And uh, I think that's the thing, is that's why I would give Dark Elf the advantage here still, is because uh, all of, of all of Luxury's uh, attacks and, and, and tactics, they, they reek of, um, of desperation at this point. Uh, he's just doing whatever he can to hold Dark Elf back, try and push him back, try and... Um, you know, save his bases, try and do this, try and do that, and uh, it's just not working as well as it needs to. And here, now he's going to lose another base, and uh, I think that's probably curtains for luxury. He's, he's got one, two, three and a half bases at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, Dark Elf is just dominating too much, and, and luxury now just has not been able to put out the forces. Up until now, you know, we've seen him been able to somehow get out you know, eight Ultralisks at a time, and a bunch of Zerglings and what have you, and uh, and and been able to put up a good fight. But you can see his army sizes that he's been able to put out just keep getting smaller and smaller, and Dark Elf keeps being able to deal with them quicker and quicker. Um, so it's uh, not. Oh no. Okay. Uh, I thought some of those science some of those science vessels are plagued. I think, but but uh, not all of them. And there are some Mutalisks lying in wait to try and pick them off. But Jesus, that is a lot of science vessels. And if anything else is uh, is a sign of uh, Dark Elf's victory, then it's those science vessels. He's got a huge fleet of science vessels there. He can basically just irradiate at will at this point uh, anything he sees. And Luxury losing one of his last remaining bases, not having an army to defend GG's. Uh, Dark Elf goes to the final match. Luxury eliminated from the MST. GG.